Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we are going to be doing gameplay with the, or not gameplay, we're going to be looking at the, all the brand new Lunar New Year cards coming out today here in NBA 2K24, my team, going over each of today's cards, talking about which ones are worth picking up and which ones you should stay away from. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the fifth, uh, sorry, the 20,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day, tons of consistent daily my team content. Uh, and yeah, I would really appreciate it. If y'all do subscribe, trying to hit that mark uh, 20K by the end of the month of February, which is going to require about 60 subscribers a day. So I would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. Without further ado, uh, let's hop right into it. Let's take a look at each of these cards. Uh, I have to start off by saying I am absolutely stunned by what 2K did with Yao, and we'll get to that. But Andrew Gudeluk, gold, gold, I've never heard of this dude. Uh, apparently, former Laker. I um, do not consider myself a casual at all when it comes to basketball, and I've literally never heard of this dude. With that being said, 90 speed, 90 excel, 95 three ball. Not a great dunker. Uh, defensively, not going to do much either. Playback badges look good. Shooting badges look great. That's about it when it comes to that stuff. Release is pretty good. Movement looks... Well, I don't know. It might be pretty good. We'll see. Uh, this card doesn't look bad. I mean, for a three-hunting point guard, like a small three-hunting point guard, he looks fun. He's not great defensively. He's not a great slasher. Not a card that I'd, like, recommend running or anything, but he doesn't look awful by any means. Smush Parker is 6'4 point guard with a 6'10 wingspan. Hot spots from three out of five spots outside the three-point line. 93 speed, 88 three ball, 95 driving dunk, and pretty good defensively as well. This card is good for a budget point guard. He has great finishing badges, really good shooting badges, really good playing making and defensively he's good as well got pretty okay size at point guard especially with a good wingspan and uh unfortunately he has default small jump shot and very basic sigs so looks like movement wise he is going to be incredibly limited which should be completely less i think does hold the card back a lot um from being as good as he could have been anyways budget card but i will say even if the animations aren't amazing the stats and batteries are really complete and really good for a budget point card so that at the very minimum makes him a pretty solid card um Al Harrington is six foot nine with a seven foot wingspan, uh, 85 speed, 82 excel, 93 ball, 80 standing, and 85 driving dunk, 88 interior, 85 perimeter, 85 lateral, 79 steel, 80 block, uh, half bulldozer, catch and shoot, and dead eye, and then a bunch of really solid all around batters. The thing about this Al Harrington card is he's a pretty good defender, he's athletic, and he's a great shooter as well. Has limitless, has good playmaking badges outside of handles for days, but even has speed booster for a wing. And then defensively, he's a really versatile card. I know he's missing some badges. Doesn't have 94 feet challenger, fast feet, glove, interceptor, right stick gripper. Like, there are important badges that he's missing, no doubt. At the same time, he's a pretty complete, pretty good defender who's a great interior defender and also has clamps and then is a capable playmaker, a really good shooter, and a super athletic finisher uh, with a really good release as well. At the small four to power four position, this is an amazing budget card for sure. Really, really good looking Amethyst card here. And then one more Amethyst today is Kyle Anderson. Slow mo, a six foot nine shooting guard option with a seven two wingspan. That is incredible size. Kind of surprised he can play the shooting guard position. Defensively looks really nice. Playmaking badges also look solid, but no speed booster. Shooting badges, no limitless, no blinders, no agent three. And then finishing wise, does not have precision dunk or fast twitch or post riser. He's missing a few important badges, but he does look like a really good versatile defender, which is nice. Athletically not amazing but solid shooter i think his release is kind of slow though and it is on slow okay there you go not only is his release kind of slow it's also on slow timing so yeah i'm not gonna lie i would probably not run this kyle anderson card because i think his release is gonna kill the card uh but i will say harrington looks good he's probably the best of the amethyst today is this Ham harrington card he looks like a very solid option though um moving on to the diamonds we'll start with this chris paul he's the path to all-star player today he's free um, and he's not bad on paper, like Staten Badrez is amazing, but he is a six foot point guard and he is not freakishly athletic or anything along those lines. I mean, he's a small point guard and statistically bad wise, he's very good, but at the same time, I don't think I'd recommend running Chris Paul. He's too small in my opinion to really run at a high level. Um, with that being said, he's got some of the best stats and badges literally of any card in the game, even as a diamond point guard, um, looks really, really good. For the most part to be completely honest and i think he might actually be halfway solid um excuse me jj hickson is 93 speed at center wow only six foot nine though he's kind of small uh great finishing badges can get every badge defensively he's great too it's only a 73 ball though at six foot nine that's not ideal the speed is great the release is on quick i don't think default swing base is great but it's not awful i guess and it is on quick and uh mj dribble style wiggins behind the back is pretty good as well i mean kobe escapes a nice move like overall 
He's a good playmaking big. Um, well, not a great playmaking big, but he's got, he's got the Hoff blow by. He's a really good defensive big. He's a really good interior big. Um, release should be solid enough as well. He's just only 6'9". He's a weird card. I think he'll be pretty good at power forward, actually. But I don't think a ton of people are going to run JJ Hickson, and I and I don't blame them. He doesn't look amazing. Uh, OJ Mayo, 6'5 PG, uh, 100K MT about, 96 speed, 92 three ball, 90 driving dunk, defensively pretty good. Great shooting and playmaking badges, really, really good. Uh, finishing badges also look nice. Hoff post riser, gold bulldozer, fast switch, precision dunker, pro touch, that type of stuff. Um, defensively. Pretty good, honestly. And he gets every badge, so you can add Anchor, Brick Wall, Alpha Ball Pest if you'd like, uh, in addition to maybe even a couple other defensive badges. So that does actually give you the ability to use this card at a pretty high level. JR Smith's base on quick, MJ dribble style, or sorry, MJ's upper. I don't know how bad. That's not a good upper, actually, so that might ruin the jump shot. We'll see. Um, Pro 3 base, well, I'm Pro 3 fade. I think that's okay. MJ dribble style, if he's got a good behind the back, if it's like actually a good behind the back, because you never know with Pro which one that is. If that's a good behind the back, this card's a demon. If not, he's probably not that amazing, but I think he's pretty good. Uh, looks like a good point guard, though, for sure. Wang, I'm sure he's a dog. Oh, well, he's only got like 80 speed, but he's a 93 three ball. Amazing shooter with Hoff Limitless. Great standing knocker as well. Has Hoff rise up defensively. Pretty good. Hoff brick wall post lockdown. Upgradable defensive badges outside of that. I will say if you're going to use this Wang card, you might want to add a couple badges to him. Fast twitch would be a good one. Uh, Agent three, maybe bailout break starter. That type of stuff potentially and then um defensively clamps would be an important one maybe even if you could upgrade anchor to hoff that'd be really nice this card is going to play better than his stats and badges say though because number one his release is elite for a big man which is very important number two is 7175 wingspeed he's got good size and a very good player build and his diamond card last year was unbelievably good such a good card in my team i think this diamond card this year will also be very very good uh, amazing pick and pop catch and shoot shinner one of the best floor spacers in the game and solid enough defensively to compete as well andre blatch six foot eleven small forward with a seven three wingspan i knew this card was going to be good and he is hoff blow by catch corner brick wall pogo stick as well as bulldozer precision dunker masher and posterizer and big driver as well as a movable enforcer okay that's nice defensively i mean the card looks good i will say can't get 94 feet fast feet or right stick ripper obviously because those are next gen exclusive badges but you could add challenger off off has pick dodger to complete him defensively if you'd like and he's already pretty good does have speed booster could use bailout break starter handles for days as well as well as agent three like there's seven badges this card can get and he can he only has five badge slots uh, but there's seven badges you'd like to put on him so that's not ideal but at the same time uh this isaiah stewart base i think it's actually okay uh and if it's an okay release with everything else that you're looking at with this card He's going to be really, really good at the small forward or power forward position. There's a really versatile, big, very good card in my team. Uh, Sigs-wise, doesn't look special. There are other pretty big small forwards, and if his release isn't amazing, he's nothing special, but he looks like a good card and very intriguing on paper uh, as the last diamond of the Lunar New Year cards. Michael B's, sorry, Drazen Petrovic. He's the seller cap reward. He's 6'5", 6'8", wingspan, hotspots from literally everywhere, um, and then 18 hoffs include bulldozer, a ton of shooting badges, clamps, interceptor, and off-ball pest. Playmake badges look look fine although he needs speed booster added defensive badges look pretty good i will say uh 92 speed 99 three ball 80 driving dunk and defensively pretty good the problem with this card is they did not change any of his animations and his animations are garbage uh, i hate his release i cannot stand his release as a shooting guard i think this card is horrific i would not in the slightest recommend using this was this uh Drazen petrovich card now what is the person 6'6", six, 6'9", six, six, wingspan, 18 Hoffs, um, really good looking card all the way around, hot shots are nearly everywhere, 39 gold badges, great gold finishing badges across the board, shooting badges are exceptional, playmaking badges also very, very good, uh, although he could use unpluckable added, and then defensively he's also very solid, I would add unpluckable and brick wall, those are probably the two most important badges that he doesn't have, uh, but defensively he is solid, he's got 91 speed, 96 three ball, 85 driving dunk, just looks really good all the way around to be honest, movement wise I will say, not special at all his, his sigs are not good but outside of his sigs i mean the release that mikhail bridges base is good oscar might be the best upper in the game and it's on quick i would assume he's pretty good um he's gonna be a good shooter with a nice release a pretty good shot creator and just a very very solid card now michael beasley this card as far as i know is packs only yep and it looks like he is packs only for michael beasley um and that's sad because this card's 
damn good. I'm not going to lie. He is damn good. He's a very good defender, an incredible all-around offensive card, and a good, very, very good finisher as well. Like He's an incredible shooter, playmaker, and finisher offensively, and then defensively, he's also a very good card. He's got 95 driving dunk, 95 three ball, 94 speed, 92 ball, speed with ball. Defensively, amazing. I mean, are very, very good. This is probably the best small forward in the game. At the same time, packs only is, to me at least, that's, that's, no. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. I, I may make a whole other video complaining about this. I'm not a fan of the best card in the game being gatekept behind packs only. I'm not a fan of that at all. Uh, there, 2K has done a lot of things as of late that I've been a fan of. Um, I personally think dropping one of the best cards in the entire game packs only is not one of those things at all. For me personally, Michael Beasley is, um, yeah. I will not be opening packs for Michael Beasley. I mean, I will not be trying to get this card by anything special or anything like that. And I recommend y'all don't either. Uh, I would not waste money trying to pull Beasley or anything like that. That would be a really poor decision, in my opinion. Um, e is a 7-footer with a 7-4 wingspan. Hot spots from 4 out of 5 spots outside the 3-point line. Um... <laughs> He's got 18 Hoffs, 37 gold badges, and amazing, amazing shooting. Hoffs playmaking wise, not bad. Defensively, he's already looking great. You look at the card, he's got five badge slots. Let's think about, you're going to want to probably use those badge slots at some point on like Asian 3, some playmaking and some defense. But at the same time, he's got 85 speed. That's not bad. It's not amazing, but it's not bad. 94 three ball, 85 standing and driving dunk, ball handle rate. Ball handle rating needs a shoe boost, but it will be able to tie in burst with that shoe boost. And then defensively, he's well-rounded and pretty good. 92 rebounder. Like, if he's fully badged, I know his release is good. If he's he's kind of a demon. At seven footer at the power forward position with a really nice release. This card is really good. There's no doubt about that. Um, he's going to be an amazing stretch four who shoots the ball really, really well and defends at a very high level as well. Very versatile. Just a really good all around card. I think he is going to be a beast. Um, Stefan Marbury, six foot two, six foot four wingspan at the point guard position. He is very, very complete stat and badge wise, no doubt. But kind of in the same book as a guy like Chris Paul, that doesn't matter enough, especially when you don't have a great release and he does not have a great release. D Rose's base is not great. I highly doubt Derek Favors' upper very good either although it's on to a dumars i don't think that's bad normal release timing pro 2 fade is great movement wise looks decent not amazing but okay uh i will say though man he's small with a kind of a baited release you can't be small with a baited release that will you just can't get away with that ever so stefan marbury not gonna be worth it to me and then finally yao ming and i cannot believe cannot believe that yao has 25 speed 43 ball i am shocked thrilled but shocked. Me personally, I was hoping it would suck. I was hoping it would suck. I don't want to lock this card in. I don't want to have to use him. I don't want to be required to use Yao in my team. I cannot believe this card is as bad as he is, though. Like, I am shocked how terrible he is. I expected him to have, at, at the very minimum, like a 75 three ball, 73 pointer. Like, I expected him to be a stud at this point in the year, especially as a set lock in. The fact that he has 25 speed, 25 excel, and a 43 ball is beyond stunning to me, to be completely honest. But also very much a no point in locking in this set at all. Like, no point whatsoever in locking in this set. Uh, Lunar New Year Yao. I cannot believe he's this bad. Like, I almost wonder if this is a mistake. I I'm not kidding. This, It feels so weird to me that he is this bad that it almost feels like a mistake. Uh, looking at his bad is, I mean, they're certainly not super complete and he's missing a lot, but that wouldn't be a huge issue if his stats were better. I am shocked he's this bad, but because he's this bad, there is no chance you should ever even consider locking this Yao card in. So no way in hell you should consider locking it down, in my opinion. And honestly, this whole drop, unfortunately, is, I mean, Wesley Person's free and he's a stud, so that's cool. Uh, OJ Mayo, Wang, those will be good budget cards. Andre Blatch maybe as well, not budget, but good cards. Beasley's a beast, but packs only. We do not like that. E is very good, but is he going to be worth buying? I don't know. Uh, and then budget cards, we got a couple decent ones. Like, this is an interesting drop, and it's not a terrible drop. But I just, I hate the fact that Beasley's packs only. I love the fact that Yao sucks. It's definitely an interesting drop, and it's going to be a fascinating Friday of content for sure. So, with that being said, that is going to do it for today's video. Let me know what y'all are feeling, how y'all are feeling about today's content. I really would love to know y'all's thoughts, but hope y'all did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon, and I appreciate y'all. Peace.